Christmas is what you make it a lot of the time and this is just my little donation to Newcastle. So it doesn't matter that it costs me money, it doesn't matter that it's a lot of work. It's what I like to do and it's great. I love it. It takes about 10 hours now to decorate it and um, that, that's about five drivers. You know, I have a stream of volunteers that come in and they might stay for an hour, they might stay for five, but it, between us it takes us about 10 full hours to get it on the road. And then it's out from December the 1st right through till Christmas Day and maybe Boxing Day, just depends on the shifts between them. Most of the decorations I've bought myself. Um, State Transit now help out a little bit. Um, but you know, lollies, I go through 30 kilos of lollies a year <laughs> and about 500 candy canes. And I thought if I can collect money, you know, if they want to give money, that's fine. But I'm happy to pay for the bus and I'll just give it to the martyr. And my um, youngest daughter's father just died of a brain tumour at the martyr a couple of years ago. So it was the best place for it to go. I don't think there's anybody that's not touched by cancer. So I think, you know, last year was nearly three and a half thousand, I think we gave them. So yeah, it's good. I don't think it matters how old you get. Something like this just takes you back to when you're five years old again, you know, so. And it's funny because the little old ladies will get on and they'll say, oh, the kids must love this. And the kids get on and watch the faces of the little old ladies when they get on. So I've got my own website now, the christmasbus.com.au. Um, so anyone who wants to travel on the bus can get the timetable off that website. There's also a heap of photos over different years on there. Um, and news clippings and things, they're all on there. What I do find and what's really nice is normal times, you've, you drive a bus and people get on, they sit down, they're in their own little world, they're on their phones, they're reading a book, they're doing whatever. Never talk to anybody, but the minute you get on a Christmas bus, they all get on and it's like they're all old friends. They all talk amongst themselves and it's just great. <laughs>